Need to set up your parental controls on your Fire Stick but you don't know how? Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to DFM TV. I am Dan the Fire Stick Man and on today's video I am going to show you how to set up your parental controls within your Fire Stick. Now this method is going to work with every single Fire Stick including Fire Cubes and Fire TVs. The only difference is if you own an Amazon Fire Stick Lite, the background that you see behind me may look different. But if you find your way to your settings and you find the preference option, you can follow along this video and you'll be able to set it up just the same. So let's get started. I would like everybody to please hit their home button. That's the button that has the little house in the remote so we all start off in the same place. Once you do, I want you to go to the right to settings. Then you're going to go down and you're going to go to the right to preferences. You're going to click on preferences and then you're going to click on the first option that says parental control. When you click on it, you're going to click on it a second time to turn it on. For first time users, it's going to ask you to go ahead and enter a pin and then repeat that pin again. So make sure that it's confirmed and then now that's your pin that is set to your fire stick. Let me just explain this part real quick. The layout that you see before you right now represents the circle on your remote. So for instance, if you want the number one, you will press up on that circle. You will press right for number two, down for number three, left for number four, and then the center button will represent zero. But let's say your pin number requires numbers five through nine. You will have to hit the options button on your remote. This is the button that has the three lines on your remote. And you will press that and will change that layout to numbers five through nine, which follows the same concept. Once you set up again your, your PIN number, it's going to take you to the next screen that's going to look like this. It just turned on your parental controls. So the next option here is PIN Protect Purchases. What this means is that in order to, for you to purchase a movie, a TV show, or download any application within your Fire Stick, it's going to require that PIN number that you just set. Now, I want you to keep in mind that the Fire Stick doesn't know the difference between a free application and a paid application. What that means is even though it may say it's free and you're not really purchasing it because it doesn't know the difference that there's no price to it, it's going to require a PIN number if you want to download it. The next thing I want to show you is viewing restrictions. Right now everything is accessible meaning there's no PIN required for any of this content to show. But let's say that one of your children click on a movie and it's considered to be for mature audiences only. My recommendation is if you want your kids to not have access to that, is to go down to the mature, click on it until you see a lock. That means it's locked now, so in order for that movie or show to begin, it will require that PIN number. Same thing for young adults teen, so on and so on. So if you want it to be locked and restricted with a pin, make sure you see the lock on it. If you don't, just make sure it has a check mark and that is it on that. If you hit the back button, you go to the next option here. This is pin protect app launches. What this means is that there's no application. If you turn this feature on, there's no application that you'll be able to access without putting in a pin. For instance, if it's on, like I just turned it on right now, if you want to go into Netflix, if you want to go to Hulu, if you want to go to any application on your, on your Fire Stick, including movies, then it's going to go ahead and require a pin. Now, the movies, again, movies that are not restricted by the pin protect, uh, by, by the viewing restrictions, I'm sorry. So the movie will be still accessible as long as it's not going through an application. So if it's something through Amazon, uh, um, and through Amazon Prime that is just there, then you'll still be able to access it if it meets the requirements that you set here. But when it comes to launching applications like Netflix, Hulu, or anything that the movie is within an application, you will not be able to access that without putting in your PIN number. Keep that in mind. The next option here is PIN Protect Amazon Photos. Now, I will be posting a video for this on the near future if you ever wanted to download your family photos uh, to your Amazon um, account and have it shown through your Amazon Fire Stick on your television uh, but most people don't use this feature so but you can turn it on and off and if you do use this feature you can keep this on so nobody has access to those photos okay 
Um, I want to go back for just one second. On the Pin Protect app launches, I recommend that you keep it off. And the reason is because it can get frustrating that every time you want to go into an application, it requires you to put in your pin. So, but again, it's all preferences. You know, whatever you like to do on yours is fine. But in my personal uh, experience, I find it a little bit frustrating to having to put a pin every time I want to click on either Netflix, Hulu, or anything else within the Fire Stick. The last option is change the pin. If you click on that option, it's going to require you to put the original pin that you set up. And then once you do that, it'll go ahead and ask you to enter the new pin, and then I'm, which I'm going to do right now. And then it's going to ask you to enter that new pin again a second time um, so you can go ahead and confirm the pin, and then it will be set. So now you have set a new pin. Now, that is it for setting up parental controls. But there is one question that I get asked a lot is, what happens if I set up parental controls, I don't use my Fire Stick for a while, and then I forget what my pin is. The truth of the matter is that if you forgot what your pin is, it's not going to let you do anything without, without that pin number. For instance, if you go back to settings and you go back to parental controls or preferences, sorry, it's going to require the pin, but you forgot it and you can't get on anything. You cannot restart the fire stick. You cannot um, factory reset the fire stick to solve this problem uh, because you won't have an option to resetting the fire stick if you can't get into that option to do it without a pen. So to answer that question for you, there is a way to reset your pen and I have that located in a new video that I made and the link is going to be on the description below. So I want you to just go there, click on that link and that video is going to be specifically on how to reset your Amazon Fire Stick pen if you happen to forget it. That's all that video is going to be about. So don't hesitate to go to the description and take care of that. While you're there, guys, if you can take a, 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 just a moment to please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button for this video, and ring that bell notification so you get notified every single time that I post a new and helpful video that can help you with your fire stick. I want to thank you again for tuning in to DFM TV. I am Dan the Fire Stick Man, and until the next video, happy streaming.